All right, in this video, we're going to learn how to use percents as a conversion. So in this situation, we have ivory soap, which claims to be 99 and 44, 100 percent pure. And we have a bar of soap, and we're trying to find out what mass is made of impurities. So the first thing I want to do is just convert this. So purity-wise, this would be 99.44 percent pure. Uh, if we convert this to the percent, right? So that means then that it is 0.56 percent impure. And we can do this with percentage formulas and all of that, but we're trying to do this as a conversion. So our key thing is to figure out what is equivalent to what. So if there's 0.56% impurities, another way of saying that is that for every 100 grams of actual soap, in 100 grams of soap, there are 0.56 grams of impurities. And we can do this with any percentage. We can say something out of 100. 100 of the whole thing is equal to how much of the smaller thing. So in this situation, we have 113 grams of actual soap, and I want to find out how much of it contains impurities. So I'm just going to multiply by every 100 grams of actual soap, there are 0 0.56 grams of impurities. And I just multiply this out, and I get a conversion uh, just like I would do anything else. So 113 times 0.56 divided by 100 and I get that there are 0 0.633. Three. Technically, I should probably round this to 0 0.63 if we're doing sig figs. Grams of impurities. Um, and that was sort of the approach. Let's look at one more. So here I have a rock, and the rocks are 2.2% gold by mass. So it's important that we know, is it mass or volume? So what I can say is that, okay, then for every 100 grams of rock... 2.2 grams is pure gold, and that's actually, you're never going to find a source like that anymore. They're much smaller. Um, I could also do, if the occasion arose, I could say 100 kilograms of rock is equal to 2.2 kilograms of gold. doesn't matter the unit as long as it's a mass unit. In this case, we're looking, working with grams, so I'm going to use this. So it says, I want 200 grams of pure gold, so 200 grams of pure gold, and I want to figure out how much rock I would need to mine. So if I know that in order to get 2.2 grams of pure gold, I need 100 grams of rock, this is how I use my percent as a conversion once again. And so I just do 200 times 100 divided by 2.2, and I would get I need 9,091 grams of rock. And again, if I do fence posting on this, it looks like I have about, well, technically this has one sig fig. Let's just use two. Uh, this would be about 9,100 grams of rock. Uh, and that's how you use percent as a conversion. Um, again, it's always sort of out of 100, and that's about it. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.